Who likes the CN Tower? Everyone. For me, I fell in love with CN Tower even before I landed in Toronto in the flight when it was landing into the Pearson Airport. Later on, when I was looking for my first apartment, the realtor showed me a unit. I stepped into the balcony and there you go, CN Tower. It's glittering bright with all the lights on there. I turned to the realtor and I asked, where should I sign? I immediately got the unit. As weeks passed by, I realized the million dollar view that I paid for is everywhere. But I am left with a kitchen that my wife has every reason to complain. Today I am going to share you a story, a million dollar lesson that I learned from CN Tower. That is, you don't need to grow to give, but when you focus on giving more, you can grow more. It was in the fall of 2016. I was all alone because my wife has taken an extended vacation. That means I am free to do whatever I want. During this time, my friend Manish came to me and he asked, Shiva, are you ready to take a challenge? It is the CN Tower climb. Wow, I am interested. What should I do? First of all, you need to raise funds. Second, you need to prepare for the climb. Third, when you enter the climb, you have to go all the way to the top. Sounds okay for me. First thing, I need to raise funds. I am a member of Toastmasters Club and getting my members to contribute for me is not a big challenge. So I, ha I have my contribution. Number two, the preparation. You need to know my background. I am the kind of person who walks into a mall and wonders why there are stairs all over the place. Where is my escalator? With this background, I decided to climb 144 floors of the CN Tower. So I need to practice. What I did is, okay, I, I take the subway from Finch to Young and Shepherd. I thought, okay, I will walk so that I will get some practice and also raise some funds for my climb. As you know, the Toronto's weather, two weeks before the climb, it rained. It rained every day and I hardly got any time to practice. But I'm super excited for the climb because I am to, I'm getting the chance to climb the CN Tower. On the day of the climb, my friend Manish, he decided to climb the previous day itself. So I, I was all alone. So I don't have any company for the climb. Still I was so enthusiastic. I reached the hall where the registration is happening. I put on my BMO t-shirt and now I'm looking for company because it's a long way to the top. I just need some company. So I put on the team BMO, team BMO, team BMO. I'm looking for team BMO company and I was walking into the hall. I noticed there were few young women who were warming up. I hesitated whether I need to join the group. You know my background. If I can't make it to the top, and my pride is in stake. So I avoided those young women there, but I joined others to start getting into the climb. As luck would say, when I started the climb, the people who are with me are taking it easy, so I took easy with them. I started climbing. Since I was on the 16th floor, I decided, okay, after 16 floors, I will take a break. 16th floor, I took a break. I continued. 18th floor, maybe this time I should take a longer break. <laughs> I took one more break. 19th floor, why the hell did I take this challenge? <laughs> I should know my background. One more break. 20th floor, I'm crawling on the floor, huffing and puffing. No, I can't make it. I was literally on the floor. 
and a volunteer walks up to me. Sir, there is water on the top of the CN Tower. You're talking about water? I can't even make it. Floor 22nd. No, I gave up. I was on the floor, literally huffing and puffing. That's when I noticed there was a young teenager who was walking joyfully with his father. I was surprised. Man, I was just 33 and see that teenager is walking joyfully and I'm huffing and puffing here. That's when I decided, no, today either I will go on to the top or I will die. And I started climbing, huffing and puffing and finally when I reached the top, I had so much fulfilling experience that I did something for a noble cause. I've seen everyone cheering when we reached the top and I had this feeling of fulfillment that I contributed something for a noble cause. The climb is done, I finished drinking three bottles of water, I came down. If you have done a climb like me, you will know at the bottom, they would give you one more t-shirt, which has your time. I took 41 minutes 32 seconds. I put on this t-shirt. And what I did immediately is, I put on my hoodie so that no one notices I took 41 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I did not take 41 minutes. So, after I reached home, I had an insight. One is, I never felt so much fulfilled in my life that I did something for a noble cause. And second is, I'm 33 and I was literally huffing and puffing to reach the top of the CN Tower. That day I decided, you know, I should do something for myself. And in the last two years, I started eating healthy, doing a lot of yoga. And in the last two years, I lost 30 pounds. And I'm ready to go for that climb again this Sunday. I'm turning 35. My goal is to raise 3500 for the community because when I realized, the more I gave, the more I grew. Now I grew as a better speaker. My health is better. And moreover, I'm able to connect with more and more people to raise more funds. So the magic recipe is give more and you can grow more.